So we're building a building and it's going to be specifically for, you know, the arts, language, those types of things like maybe built birch bark canoe building, maybe basket making, you know, doing language, could be quilt making. We really want to have a space where we're creative but also able to do the language. It's going to be a multi-purpose community building where people will gather and we'll have language lessons, we'll have workshops, we'll, it'll be a space where other groups from the territory, like other First Nations, can come and borrow uh, the space for free for whatever event they want. For us, it's, it's really good to have partners that, that are flexible and understand us that way because we're not a, an organization, we're not a, a business or anything, we're just, we're just regular people that are living here. And so Sacred Earth Solar has you know, graciously provided this opportunity for this development to happen where we're going to have electricity inside the building. You know, being on the land, we do harvesting. So we're out there, we're actively out there, you know, walking, you know, the bush, you know, we're out in the waters. So when we harvest, you know, we come back here to camp and there's a lot of processing involved, there's a lot of work involved. And having a space that, you know, we can be, you know, creative and, you know, space that's dedicated to language learning, I think that's important. The studio that they're building here will surely enhance all that, all the good things that are, will be made there, will be handed down in order for the younger people to, to learn these things that we are doing out here, is to come out here and uh, see what it's like, but not just to see and go back and, you know, live on their lives again, but to wake up to things that, that could be done. When Christy and Isaac asked for help in solarizing their art build, I was so happy to be able to support because I really believe in what they're doing at the camp. I really think it's of critical importance and I also think that it's going to really benefit future generations. Milena and Sacred Earth Solar and Indigenous Climate Action are doing such good work. They're empowering us. I think, you know, a space like that that, you know, can just encourage creativity, a place that could provide that environment for, you know, magic to happen. I think that's cool, right? But a space where we can continue to host people, to host gatherings, and um, there's just so much potential now. And I just see doors open and possibilities, and, you know, we're really excited. Like, we're, we are excited for, you know, what comes next. And hopefully there'll be other young people to, uh, to come and live this way.